Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, this video prepared by the IGS Secretariat serves as an input to the community to understand the concept of the national, regional, sub-regional and youth IGFs to draw the attention to their individual and collective work. When asked who are the NRIs, probably the simplest response would be that those are the IGFs organized around the world at the national and regional levels. Before we go into the specificities of the functionality of the NRIs, allow me just for a few seconds to take you 15 years back to a very important momentum for understanding the origin and background of the NRIs. As you probably know, the Tunis Agenda for the Information Society established the Internet Governance Forum. It gave the forum its mandate, and the agenda did not specifically call for the national or regional IGFs. However, the multi-stakeholder approach was recognized as a fundamental principle, and the agenda has encouraged development of multi-stakeholder processes at the national, regional, and international levels. Building on this, many communities of uh, different countries and regions felt inspired to organize the IGF-like meetings following the priorities of their respected communities. Uh, some started forming as early as in 2006, when the first annual IGF meeting was hosted as well. The NRIs, just as the IGF, uh, follow the same principles and procedures. Uh, they are organizing their annual meetings, which are open and inclusive, as well as transparent. The meetings uh, and all other events uh, within one NRI cycle are organized in a bottom-up manner through consultations with their respected communities. The processes are facilitated by the multi-stakeholder organizing teams. Uh, the participation in uh, all NRI uh, events and processes uh, are, is free of charge for everyone, which means that they're completely non-commercial. The NRI toolkit is a critical document for understanding the core principles of the IGF that the NRIs follow and their, and their procedures. Uh, it's been translated to six UN languages uh, by the NRI volunteers. In addition to uh, having national and regional IGFs, many countries and regions are focused on uh, building the capacity of the future generations, experts and leaders. So they form the uh, youth IGFs. The youth IGFs are, first of all, uh, led by young people, uh, for young people. They exist on so many levels of the national and regional IGFs, and some of the best practices are described in the publication that's called the Youth Engagement at the IGF, produced by the IGF Secretariat and available on the IGF website. In 2009, the NRIs have entrusted the IGF Secretariat with the responsibility to run the formal recognition process uh, of their uh, adherence to the core IGF principles and to have to list them on the IGF website. To date, the IGF Secretariat has recognized 129 NRIs and listed them on its website. 89 countries are running the national IGFs. There are 19 regional and sub-regional IGFs and 21 uh, are the youth IGFs. Uh, we are hoping that in the coming months we will be having a few NRIs joining us um, as well, especially the national IGFs. Geographically speaking, the NRIs are well balanced across the continents. And this is very important for the IGF um, as a global process, because what we've noticed, especially through the NRIs, but also through the uh, broader community's input is that the policy areas are different across countries and regions. This is why the uh, NRIs are navigating our focus in addition to the broader IGF community to ensure that the globally developed agenda and program is of relevance to all people in all parts of the world. In addition, of course, to differences uh, in substance, but also in resources and conditions, many NRIs uh, on a substantive scale share also commonalities. Uh, we can see that by looking at the programs of the, NRI, of the annual NRI processes. For example, in 2019, the IGF Secretariat has done a very careful analysis of the discussion priorities for the NRIs. And what is without a doubt is that the cybersecurity remains the top 
priority for the majority of the MRIs. It's followed by access and digital inclusion, as well as digital rights and freedoms. Many of the NRIs on their agendas are also discussing the notion of new and emerging technologies, as well as the uh, economic issues and the utilization of data. This year is very exceptional for all of us because of the ongoing pandemic COVID-19. The NRI scheduling has been uh, affected by this pandemic and resulted that the majority of the NRI meetings are either postponed for later in the year or they are already decided to be hosted online. For example, the Eurodic just concluded its um, annual meeting of three days long and we've enjoyed looking at the technical solutions and innovative ideas that made this meeting a true success. Uh, the IGF Secretariat on its website keeps an uh, up-to-date calendar of all NRI's events and we advise that you visit the website and look at that calendar that will allow you to, uh, to be informed, to be informed in time about the any schedule related changes of the NRIs. When it comes about uh, the NRIs collective work, we were very proud that the network works very well through the facilitation of the IGF Secretariat on reaching several objectives. They Every year they agree on the uh, objectives for a particular year in a bottom-up manner on a consensus basis. Uh, for 2020, the NRIs are focusing on organizing the main session for the annual IGF meeting, focused on the role of the internet in emergency situations. This is an interesting session that is going to bring us the local perspectives on many of the emergency situations implications for the internet governance, starting from the momentum, from the impact of this current pandemic, uh, two other forms of emergency situations, such for example, are natural disasters or the terrorist attacks and similar. In addition to main session, more than 30 different NRIs are partnering on organizing the so-called collaborative sessions. The collaborative sessions are workshop-like sessions. They are interactive and they're allowing us to understand the specificities on uh, digital policy matters, but also related processes on various topics. This year, the NRIs are going to focus on access, discussing future of jobs, data utilization, digital economy, cybersecurity, digital rights, and content regulation online. Uh, finally, uh, this year will also feature the traditional open work meeting between all the NRIs, everyone from the broader, wider community interested in supporting the NRIs, uh, the colleagues from the Department of Economic and Social Affairs, chair of the MAG, the IGF Secretariat's team, on, um, on the future of the NRIs and the collaboration between the global IGF ecosystem and, and the NRIs in, on the national and, and regional levels. Um, of course, the NRIs for the IGF are in addition very important because they are, they are important contributors to the IGF's intersectional work, namely the best practice forums. They're also members of some of the dynamic coalitions and they bring valuable concrete inputs to all these forms of work. Additionally, this year, the follow-up consultations were carried uh, out on the report of the high-level panel on digital cooperation. And the NRIs have decided to self-organize and establish a task force that has run uh, open bottom-up consultations across various NRI communities to gather responses and consolidate those in an output document that would be a position from the NRIs to the co-champions of the HLPDC's report recommendation 5AB. Also, the IGF is mandated, among other matters, to develop capacity. The IGF Secretariat sees the NRIs as important partners there, as through supporting the NRIs, we are supporting and empowering stakeholders in various countries and regions of the world. Uh, last year, we were specifically focused on uh, strengthening the NRI processes in developing countries by supporting some with financial grants and supporting substantively wherever possible and where asked. We, of course, plan to continue with this practice also this year. Uh, one of the objectives for this year is supporting the youth engagement in 2020. We are planning to partner with uh, so far 21 recognized youth IGF initiatives. Um, and all other integrated youth focused processes in many of the national and regional IGFs to cooperate with many capacity development 
uh, initiatives such as, for example, schools on internet governance or uh, organizations that are investing a lot in uh, educating and empowering our young future leaders and experts. And hopefully at the end of this IGF cycle, we will identify the best practices uh, existing on youth engagement and uh, agree on the next steps. If you're interested to learn more about the NRIs, we advise you to get in touch with the IGF Secretariat. Our email address is igf at un.org. You can also visit the IGF website that contains a lot of information about the NRIs. We encourage you to visit the NRIs websites, which are also very informative and probably the best starting position to learn more about the NRIs individually. And finally, let the IGF Secretariat know if you would like to be connected to the NRI coordinators that are the driving force behind every NRIs together with their multi-stakeholder organizing committees. Thank you very much for watching this video.